uh, I'm recording this video just so I can mark a moment in time and the truth because I know on social media I'm portraying my life a certain way right now and my birthday and this season of life that I'm in but it's a little bit different than what I'm portraying obviously I have to keep a level of privacy uh, you know over my life for my own protection as you guys know but I want to tell you guys what's going on with me so you guys can know and um I'm y'all know me. I'm gonna start with a short version, then I'm gonna pull the rest out in the time that that God helps me to do so. So I'm gonna just start by saying I've been hanging out with with uh, acquaintances and new uh, friends, and you know, chosen family that I've run into lately. I've been helping out some friends that are homeless, uh, letting them kick it at my house. I feel like God has blessed me with a home, and I haven't been blessed to have a family of my own. Uh, or be in a relationship with my family. So for my birthday, I've literally just been giving this whole time. I've, you know, I've spent all my money on fun and I've just been having this fun and, and that's fine. I have no regrets about that, but you know, I'm in a lot of pain because I just don't get to be with my family. I don't get to have my own family and I'm trying to build, I'm trying to grow, I'm just trying the best that I can at everything that I'm doing and um, I'm not gonna lie, like right now I guess I feel like I have nothing to really show for it like that or I feel like I'm not sure if I'm like, you know, interacting with the best people. I'm not sure. I feel like God is letting me know that I'm passing my tests and I'm making the right decisions and I'm giving what I'm supposed to and speaking up for myself and holding back what I'm supposed to. But for some reason, like, it just feels like I'm still doing this wrong. You know, I've been seeing a guy for a few weeks now. Uh, we met like a little bit over a month ago and we've been chilling, nothing serious, just having a good time. Uh, but, you know, like, I guess I just, and I'm having a great time. I literally have no complaints. It's just that um, shit gets serious with, with new friends and new people in your life, whether they're lovers or friends or co coworkers, uh, you know, acquaintances, hustle partners, whatever you want to call these people. I just feel like I hate to make it sound like I'm putting myself on such a high pedestal, but... I feel like I just know myself and I know my worth and I just don't be feeling like I'm getting my worth. Even though I'm making the best decisions and I know that it takes time to build and it takes time for things to be revealed, but it's just so hard, you know? It's difficult, it's not, it's not easy, you know? New levels is always gonna come with new like levels of things and responsibilities and you know I haven't gotten you know any gifts or any really like I don't know I don't know um uh hopefully that made sense right now but I want to come back and, and and put some things more in place for you guys so I'm working on that I literally have so much that God is telling me to share but I feel like it's so much it just feels like it's so much, almost too much at times, but it's not, it's not. Us Virgos, we love doing the work. Us Scorpios, we love to change and feel the passion. So that's not the problem. The problem is I just feel like I have more work to do than I have life to live. And I think that's what I'm struggling with. Just feeling like this lonely star. <laughs> so, um, like I said, hopefully that made sense. And I'm sorry I'm always coming on here crying, but I gotta let it out. <laughs> and it just happens to be the only safe place that I feel like I can do that. So just know that you guys hold that spot in my life. And I'm so grateful for you guys. For my birthday, I get to get to acknowledge the wonderful things that I do have. And I get to stop desiring. And I think that's the best gift that I can give to myself. And I'm grateful for, for Suede, and I'm grateful for Kenaya. 
and I'm grateful for this Patreon platform. I'm grateful for Zen in the Void and what it is and what it will be. I'm grateful um, to be alive and to have the ability to do something for God and something for the world. I'm grateful that I just have peace in my heart and I have a home and I, I have what I need. So thank you for being a part of my life. And I'm going to leave you guys with that because I'm just like really emotional and I'm tired of seeing this goddamn vein popping out of my neck. So um, until next time.